Tonight, U.S. Middle East envoy Brett McGurk is in Israel meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu. Also meeting with American families of hostages still being held captive by Hamas in Gaza, including and released like hostage Aviva Siegel, growing increasingly frustrated her American husband Keith has not returned. Now speaking exclusively with NBC News alongside Keith's older brother Lee. I think that Netanyahu has forgotten about Keith and forgotten to be human and bring the human people back. His priorities seem to be military and political survival. What he needs to understand is his survival depends on getting Keith and all the other hostages home alive. Aviva and Keith were held together for most of her 51 days in captivity, moved 13 times, always held by armed gunmen, she says, and never had enough food or water. Since returning, she's testified about sexual violence in front of the Knesset, sharing this story with us. She came and she looked at me and she said, he touched me. And that was a moment that I'll never, ever forget. And I'm worried about them, that they'll come back pregnant and it'll be too late. Too late because they will be too far along in their yeah, pregnancies. that they'll be too long in the pregnancy. To terminate. Yeah. They were held below ground in dark tunnels with little air. The last time she saw Keith was the night before her release. I bent down to him, I hugged him and I said, you be strong for me, I'll be strong for you, not knowing if they're going to separate us and we'll never see each other again. On November 26th, seen here in video from Hamas's militant wing, this 62-year-old South African Israeli says huge crowds mobbed the cars. I was sure that it would be my last minutes of my life. The only minute that I knew that I was going to Israel is when I met the first soldier. Finally, back in Israel, she's seen on the bus smiling, waving. Is there a happy memory that you think of? Is there a happy moment from before October 7th that kind of is Keith to you? You know, it'll sound a little bit strange, but I try not to think about those happy moments because I break up into tears. And it's too difficult for me to think about the happy moments. And that's how I protect myself. Aviva hasn't been back to her home in Kibbutz Kafar Aza in southern Israel, wearing this necklace every day. I do know that I went through a lot of things and that they are sitting here in my heart. I know that it's hard for me to sleep, that I wake up like with sort of nightmares or whatever. So I'm still in Gaza. Molly Hunter, NBC News, Jerusalem. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.